What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Prison Architect. I've just bought a bunch of new games on Steam, pretty retro old games, but games that I like playing. And boy, I tell you, I have been addicted to this game. So we're going to create a new prison and this music's very loud. I'm going to turn off Fog of War just because it makes it slightly less interesting. Uh, generic forests we've got on so the land we get will have a few trees and forests on it. Uh, I'm going to turn off failure conditions because I'm really bad at this, but we are going to have gangs, events, weather, um, staff needs, go for it, escape plans, and I'm going to turn on unlimited funds. So, uh, do I want bureaucracy? Uh, no, we're going to keep that off. That basically means that all of the people you can get are already discovered. Uh, unlimited funds, that doesn't mean we have no money, it just means we can go unlimited into debt. Right, first things first, let's read the CEO's letter, congratulations, blah blah blah. Just a generic letter, you know. Uh, accept your first grant, we can do that, but first things first, I want to turn off, can I not do it? Ah, um, okay, we need a warden, Let's. we're going to hire a warden, there is a good reason for this. Let's pop in there, because I need access to this. Um, so we're going to start off... Um, what do we want most? Maintenance? Unlocks the four money, allows you to do further research on things like prison labour, or additional staff members like the gardener. Um, do you know what? I'm going to save money for the time being, even though we got unlimited funds. I'm going to save money. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to get prison policy. And we are going to turn off... Not that. Where is it? It is in this word. No, it's not. Give me one second. I forgot where it is. <laughs> there it is. Right, intake. We are going to turn off. We're closed for business. We've got unlimited funds. So what I want to do is create a supermax prison. So... If you don't know what that is, basically it's where you put the worst of the worst. Like these are the worst people on the planet. And we're going to make a prison that caters to them. <laughs> uh, it's going to be tricky, but we've got unlimited funds, um, so this could be fun. Right, first thing I need to do is rooms, and I need to remove these two rooms here. So those are delivery and garbage. And we need to put them, where are they? Deliveries? I want the biggest delivery area I can get, and the biggest trash outtake I can get. So, garbage. Start there, and go there. That'll do. That is where your workmen get and take rubbish, so they get deliveries and take rubbish. Pretty simple. And the next thing I need to do is make a foundation. Um, this is where the game starts getting expensive. We need a reception first things first. I'm just going to create a massive sort of... Um, yeah, that's all our money spent, but I think it's worth it. That is going to be our initial foundation. Let's speed this up for them to build this. You can see here all our deliveries have arrived. And they're going to build this foundation. You need foundations for you to build rooms and stuff like that. Uh, it's quite important to leave auto light on unless you want to spend a lot of time placing lights. Right, so I'm thinking in this building we're going to have the reception, um, a canteen and a kitchen, some offices and visitation stuff. Um, we might not have enough room, hopefully we will, but we're going to have to see once they've built it and we start planning things. Right, they've almost built it, it's the end of day one, and it does require an entrance. I'm going to put the reception over here in the corner. So we need a door, um, uh, what would be the best door, I'm thinking just a normal door like this, uh, right up in the corner here. Once they put that in, put, put that in, God, I could in English then, they should hopefully, oh, did I put that up? Is that in the right place? You no, know that's fine. Ah, we also need a utility room. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is a reception. Uh, so they come in the building, they need to go into a reception. This doesn't need to be big. Um, 
One, two, three, four, seven by seven should be ideal. That'll do. That's our reception. And then I'm going to put a visitor door by here. That's where our visitors are going to go. Because uh, I'm going to have the visitation room down over here. And now we need a room or a door for our prisoners. This is going to be a large prison door. So they come in, they go to reception, and if they're a visitor or staff, they go down here. If they're a prisoner, they go up there. That's pretty simple. Uh, I think that's the way we're going to have it. So now we need a visitation room. Again, this doesn't need to be overly big. So I'm going to pop a concrete wall in here. Um, let's do it 12 meters long and 7 wide, just for the symmetry aspect of it. And I'm going to designate these rooms. So, reception. Where is reception? Uh, I'm being blind. There it is. So this is our reception. And this is our visitation. We don't want the visitors to go too far into the prison, just because it's inconvenient and it's not good security protocol. Um, I was going to have a door down here to let staff walk through, but I think if we keep the visitation separate, um, that would be a good idea. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to put a parallel wall down here. So prisoners can walk down here and go into the visitation room. I'm going to have a door here in the corner and I'm going to have a staff door here. So the prisoners can do go down here into the visitation but the staff can continue on down here and this is where I'm going to have the staff rooms or offices and things like that. Um, just general things the prisoners aren't allowed in but the staff are. So I'm going to use the quick build tool uh, for an office. These are only small, they don't need to be big and uh, I advise overlapping them otherwise you'll have a double thick wall. Not good. So that's four in there, five. Uh, I'm going to turn this around using the R key and we're going to put five there as well. So that is going to be ten offices. Ah, I didn't think that one through. So that's nine offices. Uh, that should be enough. You know what? That's going to be plenty. Um, is there anything else we need down here? I need a utility room. That is something I do need. So if I rotate that, I can pop that. Um, I'm going to put that like that. Um, and then you got like a little... I could have some coffee machines there, that's what I'm going to do. So drinks machine. These are your objects, you can place wherever you want. Uh, I'm going to have a phone booth. And where's a drinks machine? I did see it not long ago. Um, drinks. Ooh, we can put a moose head there. No, that's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of random. I don't know why I'd want that. Okay, I can't see it. So drinks. There it is, drink machine. So you guys can have some 7-Up or whatever drink is your preference. And I'm going to put one and two there. Just to kind of fill that in for a little bit. Right. So we've got utilities. We've got a reception, visitation. We've got offices. Um, okay, I'm going to hook the utilities up then. So we need some capacitors. These are important. They increase the charge on your power generator. You do actually want a lot of these. Um, I would suggest covering all the way around there. That's the most optimal strategy. And then we can have a cable that runs out here. And one that runs down there. We're gonna have one into the warden's office and one down here. Just so all of these rooms here are lit. Um, hopefully that should be lit. I'm just gonna run a little bit of a cable into each office. Just to make sure everything is powered. There you go. That's my phone, ignore that. <laughs> uh, we also need a cable into the visitation room and the reception just to power that. So the, as far as I can tell, there's no limit to how long the electric cables can be, but there is for the water. The water can only flow so far, which does make sense. Right, we got offices, visitation, reception, utilities. Um, we're going to have some more staff stuff. I'm thinking staff room now. I want to get the staff area over and done with. So rooms. Let's see if we can quick build a staff room. Yes, we can. 
that feature of quick building is a, it's worth its weight in gold. It really is. Um, I think in two staff rooms. And then I am going to wall the rest of this off just so there's no other way in. Um, and pop a wall there as well. So the staff only area is here. Reception, right. Let's get the reception sorted. So we need some objects. We need a desk. We need a table, I know that. So I'm going to pop the table in now. Let's put that there. Uh, we need a desk. And there we go. The reception should be all good to go. Uh, top tip for you, if you type in the type of room it is over here, then you can see all of the objects it needs. So visitation. We need some visitor booths. Uh, they can't walk through these, which is awesome. So if you turn it to so the prisoner side, it's labelled there. I don't know if you can see. Uh, faces the prison. So something like that. Hopefully they go all the way across. No, nope, it doesn't. Okay, so uh, you could put a door through. I think I'm going to put a door through, a jail door. I know, I don't know why you'd really need that, but I'm going to do that anyway, just so people can get out that way if need be. Um, right, and I think that's all of the staff stuff done. Um, I'm going to power this. I need to power it. But other than that, it all seems to be working great. Are there any lights in that office? I don't think there are. No, there's no lights in any of these. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to place some lights. You can have one, you can have one. Uh, just one in each office should be sufficient, I think. And I might have to put one in the corridor as well. Or one every... There, there, and there. Uh, utility room actually doesn't need lights, but I'm just going to chuck a few in anyway, because why not? We've got spare... The number underneath there where it says 15, that's how many you have in your current inventory. Right, that is actually looking pretty awesome. I like that little staff layout. Um, so we got... Now we just need to get onto the prisoners. Ah, this is where it gets fun. Um, you will notice little bits of wood like this lying around. You can sell them or keep them. They'll be used in the workshop if you keep them. Um, we need a holding cell. That is something we do need. Um, I'm not going to quick build that. I'm going to actually just build it. So, if we have... So, the holding cell needs a shower as well. So, I'm going to quick build the shower because it's a lot easier. So, if I build the shower that way round, like that. And then I am going to put a wall uh, along there, like that. Along there. This is a pretty big holding cell, but it's probably worth it. And I'm just going to designate this as a holding cell. Um, it does need a door, a jail door, preferably. Uh, pop that in there. You do have different kinds of doors. So you've got like a normal one for just general use. Grey stripes, that's for low security prisoners. Then you have a larger version, which is two cells wide. Uh, and then you've got orange, which is normal, like medium security. Red is max security. And yellow is protective custody. Uh, is there a super max one? I could have sworn there was. Oh well, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Uh, I am going to take a grant. That's not the right one. I always click that. So grants are there. Um, basic detention center. Yep, let's take that one. That gives us 10 grand up front. Um, staff Wellbeing Administrative Centre, hire a warden, unlock finance through bureaucracy, hire an accountant. That one seems pretty easy to do. Uh, we need to hook up the water for our shower. So you got two types of pipe, well three actually. You got the large pipe, the small pipe, and the hot water pipe. Um, they're not compatible. You can't turn hot water into connect hot water to a small pipe. Don't try that. Uh, and large pipe. Useful, it travels the water further distances, so you can make it go further away from your uh, water center, whatever it's called. But prisoners can tunnel through them, so never ever put one of them under a cell, because you will have a lot of escapes. Um, it should be okay going into the shower though, because people don't spend that much time in there. Uh, once they've built that, the water should be connected. There it goes, that is pretty awesome. Um, it's kind of an odd shape we got going on here. 
Um, as I said, I've turned money off, so money is not an object. So, but what I'm thinking is, if I continue this down here, um, then I could have like a really big cell block going down here. Um, so we're going to go for supermax, as I said. So the more isolated each cell block is from each other, the better. Generally, what are we missing? Toilets and a bench. That's fine. That we can put that in in a bit. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a big foundation in, like I did before. Um, I'm going to put it up to there, like that. And I'm also going to put a fence around here. This is going to be our yard. So, I want walls and fences. I want a perimeter wall. And that goes along there like that. And then it's just going to run down the length of the road. Uh, I don't actually know where we're going to connect this up to with the door. So I'm just going to leave it like that for the time being. Uh, they might knock this wall down. They might knock the the foundations. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, this little alcove here, that could be a good size for a shop, I think. Um... Where is the shop? No, we haven't unlocked it yet. You require prison labour. Okay, what about a canteen? Uh, that's a bit big for having kitchen. Nice! It's big kitchen sized. So if I pop that in there, you can have that like that. And then we need a canteen, which is a lot bigger apparently. That can go. Can I put it that way and have the door going in? I can! Nice! And then we just need to fit another door. Um, what kind of door do we want? Is there a... Let's just go for a normal door. So this is how they're going to get out. So, so they go in there, make the food, go through. Awesome! They're serving things at the wrong end, but that doesn't actually matter that much. Uh, this bit of corridor here is a bit useless. I don't know what that's there for. I might just delete that. Right, canteen's done. I'm going to put the uh, door for the yard. Uh, I'm going to make this a large jail door. And this is going to go just next to there so they can go straight out after food. I'm going to set up the prison schedule later. Um, also, they're blocked from demolishing that. So we kind of need to do that. There it goes. Can you guys try and delete that now? There it goes. Awesome, happy with that. Um, we are going to need another utility room to power all this. I could put the utility room there, actually. Let me see if that fits. Um, generally, with utility rooms, you can build your own, but a lot of these are actually pretty good. The um, the ones they put in the game, like the blueprint, bl blueprints, blueprints, um, and that fits perfectly. So why the hell not? Um, they're going to have to run through there to do it. But prisoners don't need access to that, so that's fine. Uh, hold and sell, we're still missing a few things. This is starting to come together really, really well. Uh, I'm going to see if I can unlock uh, a few more things, maybe. So, let's let's go through the tabs. We've got our staff there. Prisoners, intake. That's closed. I sh showed you that earlier briefly. That's our current jobs. Prisoners, store uniform in table. Store prisoner uniform in table. Okay. Uh, can't unsee these. This is what I was in for, the regime. So, the regime is what they do per day. You can separate it for each different type of prisoner. Uh, they're going to have sleep. Uh, I didn't mean to click that. And basically, that is the timetable throughout the day, which you get the control, which is really cool. Um, here is our policies. We can change them later, but I'm not going to bother yet. And programs. Um, these are, like... Guard certification. So these are things you can do to increase morale or security in your prison. Okay, so I just connected the utilities up there for the kitchen. Um, this is actually really important. Don't let your electricity, especially your water as well, preferably, meet each other. That causes problems. You can only have one power generator per circuit. So if I connected this cable here to this one, that would cause a problem. Don't do that. Um, you can put power switches and stuff like that in, but honestly, I don't see the point in it much. You can also give the showers the showers hot water, but again, eh, 
I don't tend to care. <laughs> I, I'm a really evil prison guy. Uh, I am going to have to power that a bit more though, so I'm going to chuck a cable in there, and chuck a cable in there. That is awesome. Right, we haven't actually built a cell. This is a good prison so far. So we got the yard there. We need to um, put that as the yard. So there's the yard thing there. And let's just finish that off. That shouldn't have an issue. Nope, that is perfectly fine and acceptable. Um, I'm going to go around and cut, sort of like beautify the prison afterwards. But for now, I just kind of want to get everything in. Um, right, I got a feeling we're missing some stuff. What am I missing? Let's have a look at the rooms. Um, we could put a common room. I think that would be a nice... Th but they're Supermax. Do I want to give Supermax prisoners luxuries? No. No, I don't. I need to be more strict on them. Um, kitchen, canteen they've got. Staff room we've got. Yeah, everything in here is fine and covered. Am I missing anything here? Uh, storage. There is a problem with a storage. Don't use it. Um, you'll find that when workers go into the room, they can no longer get out of it. You you could have a thousand workers and all of a sudden just be like, why are they not building anything? And you'll just see them all glitching out in a closet. So don't do that. It's one hell of an orgy, but don't do that. Parole. I think parole and chapel we can do quite easily. I think that would be a good thing to do. Because um, I believe that they increase the morale of the prisoners. Um, and also, if you've got a parole, they can release prisoners as well. So that's not a bad thing. So if we just turn this into two little offices. One as a chapel and the other as parole. Uh, they need doors. <laughs> uh, door there. And a door there. That is awesome. And now we're just going to put chapel in the same size so it doesn't actually matter. Chapel in that one, parole in this one maybe. Um, we need in the parole room, if we go to objects, parole, uh, visitor table, that'll do. I'll turn it that way, so it's three of them reviewing one prisoner. Nice. And if we do chapel, we need pews and prayer mats, pretty much, and an altar. So let's put the altar at the front, because that's kind of where it goes. Um, it's kind of annoying how it's not centred. Okay, it's going in the corner. All the pews there. And they're blocking the door. Do you know what? I don't think that actually matters, so screw it. They're also the wrong way round, I think. <laughs> ah, screw it. It doesn't matter. Probably should take more care with the aesthetics, but it doesn't matter, so screw it. Right, we need some cables, electrical cable. Uh, let's just extend these forward. Right, and I think that's everything we need for the time being, so shall we get to creating some cells? This is the tedious project, I will be honest. This is the tedious part of it. Uh, it's a lot of repetition, so I'll build the first few and then I'll cut it out. But I'm going to build a wall along there. Because um, we want this sort of corridor separate from... We don't want people seeing hope. We, ju we just don't want that. Um, right, let's just chuck a few lights in here. One there, one there, one there, and one there. And maybe one by the entrance. That'll do, pig. Right, so we want cells. Uh, quick build. I'm going to pause it just in case I screw up and I want to change anything. They're going to have a basic cell. Uh, we are, we do need to put some solitary confinement in as well. Yeah, it, it genuinely is as simple as just chucking these in like this all the way along. So I'm going to do this and cut back. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I remove you? Oh, that is almost perfect length. So happy with that. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. Reverse, leave a space for a corridor down the middle maybe and go all the way back up. And I was also thinking I'm going to use this here as my... Um, so this is kind of a... I don't even know how to describe it. It's, like, it's going to be the way into the kitchen and canteen. But if I put a wall here, I can turn this little block here into my solitary. Uh, you will need solitary confinement, because... God damn it. Because you will need to set up 
punishments for things that happen in the prison. It's not going to be, you've built your prison now, they're just going to sit in the cell. You're going to have some problems. Right, I'm going to see if I can clone this. So, or does it have to be built? I'm not sure if I'm being honest. Um, do you know what? I'm going to wait for it to be built because I don't trust that. I've had problems with that before. So, they're just going to build this. It should take them literally a few seconds. It would be surprising if it was any more. I might have to put some lights in every cell. Actually, do I want to do that? They can, they can wallow in the darkness, surely. I don't see a problem with that. Uh, while they're building that, I'm going to set the holding cell up. So they literally just need some toilets and a bench. That is pretty simple to do. Uh, they can pee in public. I really don't care. Some toilets along the back wall, maybe. Oh, that's blocking the shower. They are not going to have a pleasant time in my, in my jail. They really aren't. It's not, top, it's not tables I need. It's benches. <laughs> Almost fell for that. Bench. Let's just chuck a few along the back wall there. That'll do, pig. As I said, this is not a pleasant prison. But then, let's be honest, prison shouldn't be pleasant. If you decided you wanted to do something that gets you into prison, that is on you. That'll do. This is going to be a high capacity prison. We've got 22 cells so far. Right, so now I'm going to try and clone this. So let's just redo the little box thing there. And like that. Can I do that? That's actually perfect size. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I'm going to continue this down along here if it lets me. Might have to wait for it to get built first. Right, I'm going to hire some more staff. We have eight workmen. I'm going to take that up to 50 because I am not a patient person. 40, uh, 51, odd number because why not and let's get back to the action because they are currently building this block I've also put one in down here um, I'm going to put one over by here as well this is going to be a very bland laid out prison it's, it's not going to be a nice place it's going to be boring for anyone that enters um, but I might have to give the staff some entertainment <laughs> uh, right I want to clone. It should let me do it now. Uh, let's pop that in there. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. So we should have 88 cells at the end of this. While they work on that, let's put some solitary in. Oh, I can't put it there. Damn. Okay, can I put it? Yes, I can. Solitary alley. There it is. We're probably going to need a lot of solitary confinement. A lot of crimes get committed in prison. It's not a safe place to be. That fits almost perfectly. The OCD part of my brain was very happy with that. Right, let's build a quick wall. Um, so, that's how they get into the yard. So if I build a wall like that, and a wall up like that, that solitary alley there, uh, and that's how they're going to get into the yard. Not that they're going to have much yard time, if any at all. I haven't decided yet. Um, we could put... A, I'm thinking a workshop down by here would be pretty good. Uh, we need to unlock prison labour first. Uh, where is prison labour? It is under... There it is. So we need maintenance. I'm just going to unlock all of these, I think. I should have done that at the start, but I didn't sooner they get unlocked, the sooner we can have prison labour and shops and stuff like that. God, that's almost beautiful, that prison. Um, right, we do need to hook this up with electricity and water, so that could take a while. Um, the electricity's not too bad, just run a cable right down the middle of each one. And then... Um, Okay, if we have a workshop there, that's going to run off this generator. That's going to power... That's really going to stress it. So we're going to want to run it off this power here. We might have to put another utility room in soon. Come on, guys. Build it. I just want to see it light up. Oh, there goes one side of it. Come on, guys. A bit more. 
We're probably waiting on one bit of cable. There it goes. Right, that is all lit. Now, I'm going to give you some top tips for you utilities. We are going to run it off this one here. So I'm going to send a cable up to the end, like that, and along to there. Uh, if you do something wrong, just right click to delete it. And we're going to run that down there, and that up there, like that. Now, as I say, you don't want large pipe in your cells. You you really just don't. It will lead to a lot of escapes. But what you can do is put some small pipe, just covering it a little bit along like that. And then just every section connect to the big pipe. And put that all the way through. All the way through. That's connected at the end, so that's fine. Pop that down to that one. And you're basically just going to do that all the way along. It's pretty easy. Uh, pop that down to that one like that. And connect to the big pipe. And you're just going to do that for every single cell. Alright, that's all hooked up now. Uh, I'm going to chuck a few doors in. So we want red striped door. There it is. Uh, each, each cell has a normal cell door, a normal jail door. But we're going to put a solitary door or a, a max security door, sorry, at the end of each block. Just so if someone does escape this cell or starts kicking off on their way back, they're contained. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, we've spent $200,000 so far and we're losing 3300 a day. But, you know what? I don't care. I just do not care. We can easily make that money back later. Right, we do need... <laughs> I don't think we've got any lights in our solitary block. Uh, I'm cruel, but I'm not that cruel. So, lights, there you go, that'll do, you can have one light, yeah, maybe one there as well, come on there, that'll do, it needs to be a dark, dismal place, uh, we need to connect the solitary cells up as well, so small pipe, across there, and across there, like that, and connect them with a large pipe, like so beautiful that is absolutely beautiful everything seems to be working fine oh no 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 i missed a little bit there so small pipe straight into that supply there and i don't think i've missed anything this is going well it's actually looking pretty good this prison we could open it up now but i don't want to there's a few more things i need to put in and a few more things i need to unlock um What's left on the to-do list? I hire two guards and hire two cooks. We'll do that in a bit. Hire an accountant. Have we unlocked them yet? Yes, we have. There you go, my love. A psychologist. That'll unlock something. I can't remember what it is. Uh, let's give ourselves seven cooks. Eight cooks. Why not? Two doctors. Uh, and we're going to... Ten guards for now. We just got ten grand for our grant. Awesome. The only thing on our to-do list is open up the prisoners, but we're not going to do that yet. Let's give ourselves a chief as well. Right, a medical room. Um, we could actually put that there. But I don't know, that looks perfect for a workshop. Have we unlocked that yet? No, we haven't. Oh, that's annoying. Um, where can we put a classroom? Hmm. Um, that's lit up orange just because the clone thing. I don't know how to get rid of that. Uh, I don't know where we can put a classroom. It would fit nicely in there, but then that would block the kitchen. That's annoying. Um, hmm. I don't know. I probably could have done a bit more planning for this. Um, if you do use these, you can change the type of wall that surrounds them as well. So that's pretty good. Todd, uh, that's a lot of walls. Let's just go back to concrete. I build everything in concrete because it's so bland that I love it. Right, so for that we need prison labour. How long until that is unblocked? Uh, prison labour. Oh, we can do it now. No, we can't. Where is it? There it is. Requires foreman. I can do that. Let's get a foreman. Um, anything else going to unlock yet? Yeah, all of these. Spending a lot of money right now. Uh, right, let us hire a foreman. Where is he? Foreman. Oh, we can hire five. There you go. There's all our foremans. So that should start unlocking now. Yep. Six hours. We're on triple speed, so hopefully that shouldn't take too long. And there it is. 
<laughs> that was actually quite quick. So, right, classroom. We need a classroom or a workshop. I want a workshop here. I just think that would be a good place for it. Okay, that's pretty big. Um, what if we squeeze it in like that? Ah, it's too big. Damn, that's annoying. Okay, I guess we can put classrooms here instead then. Um, and a shop. Let's pop the shop in. Uh, which way does it go? I think this way. No, this way. No, this way. Yeah, pop the shop in there. <laughs> uh, classroom medical. Um, there's just not quite enough space over here. Okay, we need to build some more. We need to add some to our foundations, I think. Um, should we just foundation the rest of it? Why not? Why the heck not? That's only going to set us back $36,000. Right, it's going to take them a while to build all that. Uh, and they'll probably knock down this wall here as they do it, because that's what they do. Oh, and they've built all of that foundation there. And as I said, it's taken out a large chunk of the wall. That's kind of an important wall. Uh, so let's just pop that back in up to there. And pop that back in up to there. Right, so we need to build a workshop. Uh, some medical bays. A few more things. We've got a yard. Um, we've got a basic prison. We could open it up to the public, but as I said, I want to get more stuff in it first. And we are going to do that in the next episode. So if you want to see that, make sure you come along for that. Um, we need to, hire, to hook up some utilities. We need to get more cells in. We need to do all the stuff I just said. Um, it's basically going to be... The second episode is going to be all building. We're going to get this prison ready for prisoner intake. Maybe beautify it a little bit. So if you want to see that, make sure you come back for the next episode. And I will see you then. Peace out, guys.